come by. It is that time. It's tea time. It's tea time. And I was watching a uh, thing on, uh, on personal development. It was Jim Rohn, one of my favorite persons. And I love the way he talks. <clears throat> of course. And if you don't know Jim Rohn, I, I can't remember which one I was watching, but it was, it was a lecture. I think it was two hours long. And I got a whole page of notes within the first three minutes, three, three to five minutes, five minutes. I say five minutes. But the first two sentences out of his mouth, I was already writing stuff down. <clears throat> and as I was saying yesterday, you have an opportunity to check yourself. So that's what we're going to do today. Kampai again, and let's get started. We are really starting this journey of personal development, and I just wanted to start this first one on, or second one, on getting you to understand yourself. <clears throat> Here's one of the challenges. We want more things. We want to do things. We want to be bigger, right? And that means we have to start changing on the inside. So my very first paragraph that I wrote is, you can have more than you've got because you can come become more than you are. Right. So the other side of that coin is unless you change who you are, you will always have what you got. So for things uh, to change for you, you have to change or things aren't going to change. And I don't know if you can hear it in his voice, but he, he said something along those lines. So. Where you want to be is usually out here, okay? And you have to set goals and you have to make changes within yourself. You have to discipline yourself to get out there. What God usually does with blessings, the interesting thing, is he'll put us out there. He'll give us like a hint or a teaser, right? So... I want to be a millionaire, right? And he'll give me, you know, $500,000. And it's just a little taste. It's not there, but it's getting me there. It's halfway there, right there, right? And if I don't apply myself to keep that 500 and make another 500, what it usually happen is if I don't grow to where where that little skip in the step is, if I don't keep pace with that, then what'll happen is it'll dwindle or disappear and meet me back where I am. So that's why you have a lot of millionaires who uh, hit the lottery instant millionaire and then instantly lose it all. Well, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. But you don't have the discipline to keep it. So your income will jump there and then immediately fall back to where you are. Because I don't know if you know, uh, John Max Maxwell teaches about the law of the lid. Okay. <clears throat> so and your leadership will only go to this right here. You'll hit that lid every time. If you don't set your goals and raise the roof or raise the lid, once you hit it, either you'll stay right here or you hit it and fall back down to where you were. 
So what we'll have there's that lucky jump <clears throat> and uh, what I was talking about yesterday was actually getting out there with um, Japanese. Like I said, for 10 years, I would meet people and, you know, I would learn my vocabulary and learn some kanji and things like that. Uh, the writing system, I can read pretty good. And <clears throat> as long as I was doing a little, I was learning a little, okay? When I started at Japanese School of Savannah, I learned a lot. So instead of making strides, little baby steps, I was making leaps and bounds into where I wanted to be because I had the discipline and I found the mentor to take me there. So, I want you to think about this in your tea time. Where do you want to be? Uh, if you don't know where you're going to go, uh, I think Brian Tracy says it like this. Uh, it's, it's easy to hit a target. Oh, <laughs> it's easy to hit a target that's not there. Oh, so, if, if you... If you don't want to, if you don't know where you want to be, you're pretty much there already. Okay? It's what you can see before you and you're aiming toward it. That's the hard part. You know, I don't know if you ever played darts, but if my aim, if I, if I wanted to play darts, right, and I have the whole, the target's here in the whole wall. And I don't care where it lands. I just do like this and wherever it lands, that's where I'm going to be. Okay. Now, darts, I get beat at darts when you play their official rules. Okay. Because you have to hit the target under, well, you have to hit so many numbers. And then that last one, you have to be pretty specific and lucky. Or you or you you get penalized for it. But throwing the darts <clears throat> and hitting the target, once you got that groove, is it's easier. And you have the target, you can see it, you can you know, you can muscle memory, you can hit it. But if you don't have a target, or you're not used to practice, if you don't practice at all, you don't do anything, you don't have any discipline, you don't have anybody to show you, hey, these are the rules, you can't do that. You can't just walk up to it and just put it right there. You know, you gotta do it like this, you gotta hold it like that, and you, you know, this is a technique. Without any help, that goal gets further and further away. And it's easy to give up. So if you know where you want to be and you're making those leaps and bounds towards it, continuously raise the roof. You know, break through the glass ceiling. I don't know, whatever you're familiar, whatever term you're familiar with, but get better at it. Whereas it's not so far away. Yeah, it might be a challenge, but you're working towards it. And then you start to build a community of people around you to push you where you want to go. So here's to you and all the things that you're going to accomplish. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. If you have a comment of where you're going and where you're trying to get to, Put it down there and somebody might respond, maybe even me, might respond to, hey, here's how you can get there faster. I know this person or something. Just do what you can. All right. There you go. Come by.